Now let's talk about what Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry said this afternoon, that he is closing all city-owned venues until further notice. And Mayor Curry also says that five firefighters are, are quarantined for being in contact with a man who later tested positive for coronavirus. On your side's Troy Kless joins us live from the south side. And Troy, you say that is an area where the man was living nearby, correct? That's right, Jeannie, saying that he lived in the town center area. Now, it is not clear at this point if he was in the public at all before he was taken to the hospital. Again, the mayor shutting down all of those events just to minimize the, the risk of spreading the virus. Mayor Lenny Curry says he knows his actions may be an inconvenience, but he says it's for public safety. It's going to be painful, disruptive. Um, but the health and well-being of our citizens and our families are number one. He says it's likely more cases of COVID-19 will be confirmed after one man taken from an assisted living facility later tested positive for COVID-19. Jacksonville Fire Rescue Chief Keith Powers says that patient did not show any signs of the virus when he first came into contact with first responders. Powers says adjustments have been made to protect firefighters and citizens they serve. We're going to be now um, putting masks on all, all patients that we respond to just as a, another level of protection. Um, and, um, and there's a few other uh, uh, adjustments that we made. That Extra precautions by the city include shutting down parks, the zoo, permits for large gatherings suspended. Curry says he's also asking for the state health department to be more transparent about possible cases in the city. I just want information. I want information so I can make decisions with that information. Uh, decisions were like decisions we're making today, and I want to be able to share information with the public. The mayor also says that he's working to find out if he can expand testing in the area for people who may think that they have COVID-19. He is also urging people if they do think that they have any of these symptoms to consult a doctor uh, virtually first before going to a hospital. We'll have more on this story coming up on First Coast News at 6. We're live on the south side. Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.